Okay, we got sound this time. Good deal. All right. Guys, sorry about that. I started a live stream, but I didn't have any audio for that. I apologize. Luckily, I didn't do anything amazing, which is... Whew, it's a good thing. I do a lot of amazing stuff. So, uh, anyway, how's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking the body beat down here, Michael, on this Saturday evening. It is now 4.51 in the p.m. And today we're going to be doing a little bit of a taste test. I have had these before, but I am trying these for the first time. Now, these are not technically hot. They're not really hot. Now, for some people who think everything in the world is hot, yeah, they might be hot. But I'm kind of a spicy, eating kind of guy. Uh, I've had, I've done the world's hottest chip challenge, the world's hottest gummy bear, world's hottest beef jerkies. I've had some of the hottest capsaicin and uh, extracts and all that. Uh, I've had all that stuff and homemade sauces. Uh, Homemade hot sauces, homemade salsas, all that kind of stuff. Enough that will light your insides on fire. We're talking about a million Scoville and hotter. So, uh, Scoville units are what measures the heat of spicy foods. So, uh, anyway. Uh, so, we're going to do a little taste test there in just a minute. I got my pizza done and... And uh, ready to eat. Got a little hot sauce on there. Just some regular Louisiana hot sauce. It's not actually hot. It just has flavor. That's how I. That's how I kind of. Uh, kind of categorize that type of hot sauce. It just has flavor, and I love it. So uh, anyway, uh, touching on a little bit of my working out or lack thereof. But this week was a good week. Had a pretty good week. Eh, lackluster. Oh, eh, all right. It was a pretty good week. I won't say lackluster. It was a decent week working out. Friday, I didn't do my deadlifts. I'm still letting my hand uh, heal up where I keep popping open my calluses and they bleed and it's really painful. Uh, my bar that I use does not have any knurling on it at all. It's an old bar. I, I bought it used. It's painted and even the knurling under the paint is super smooth. And uh, so I think what that does is once you get to that kind of weight, I'm, t I'm, I'm at 455 and I'm trying to get 460. Uh, well, I think once you get to that kind of weight, you know, the bar just, it, it doesn't have anything to latch on to. So it rolls and it pinches all this skin and it just, you know, pops whatever's in the way. And that's what keeps happening. So uh, on my next deadlift session, which will probably be next Friday... I'm probably going to do the elevated pulls again where it's elevated about inch and a half, two inches off the floor. And I'm probably going to use my short six foot bar because it has knurling. And we're going to see how that goes and uh, see how that works out. And uh, yeah, anyway, uh, you know, if I keep doing that, if I keep hurting myself, I'm not going to be able to, you know, reach my goal. And my goal is to get to 460 and be done. That's gonna be my stopping point with my deadlifts. And uh, I'm gonna be proud of that and happy with that. Whenever I first started this whole deadlift journey, uh, I, I just I mentioned that I wanted to get to 500. 500 is a big boy's weights, and I'm not that big a boy. And uh, I'm not that, not that I put age as importance, but I'm no spring chicken anymore. Uh, with my bad back and shoulders and all this different stuff I got going on. I don't want to push things too much further. And I think if I can reach 460, I will be super happy and feel good. And uh, that's how I was with my squats. I finally just went ahead and called it done with my squats. I can do a pretty decent four, uh, four, I can do a pretty decent 365 pound squat uh, occasionally whenever my body lets me. And instead of trying to get that 405 squat, I went ahead and called it done with 365 uh, because that's just where I feel comfortable going to. Uh, 405 is just way too much on my body, on my back and everything. And I have kind of bad form whenever I do squats anyway to, you know, 
with not being able to stay straight I lean over too far and it's just too much so um, yeah anyway so I'm gonna take a bite of my pizza Good stuff. So, I want to thank everybody that's subscribed to me and all the people that pop in. Even all the trolls and all the dingbats. You know, I give you a little bit of praise. You keep me on my feet. So... Pretty good pizza. And if you didn't check out one of my latest videos, you see that I'm venturing into something I've wanted to do since I was like 10 years old. I was in band for a, a couple of years back in like elementary. I mean, I'm talking like fifth, sixth, seventh grade. And uh, of course, all we learned back then was one E and uh, two and uh, three. Boom, boom, boom. You know, we were just learning stuff. And I never took it any further. I've always loved the drums. I've always danced. I've always loved beats and rhythms. And uh, my whole life I've wanted to drum. And I've just never taken the steps. I've never allowed myself to do it for whatever reason. So, at the age of 51, I'm going to be 52 this year. I'm going to enjoy it and I'm going to... See what I can do and uh, just enjoy. My my goal for drumming is not to be a world-class drummer. It's not to be amazing. It's just to listen to some of my favorite music and just try to drum along with it and just enjoy myself. And, uh, yeah, that's all I want to do. I just want to enjoy life and enjoy uh, passions and hobbies and different things in life. And I think that's what we all need to do. So, uh, Monday I got a little something else coming in. And uh, it's probably not what people think, but it's close to what you think. So Monday I'll have a little something else coming in. And uh, I know I don't really get a lot of traffic on my live streams. That's okay. I never do. In the past, I've done countless live streams, and I'll have, like, nobody ever pop in. Or once in a while, I'll get, like, a spam bot that pops in or something stupid. Or, a, you know, maybe one of my subscribers or somebody will pop in. Usually, I don't have anyone. Um, but, hey, it's okay. At least I'll have a video to put out there for everybody to watch at some point and enjoy. So we're going to make this kind of quick. I know live streams usually go for an hour, two hours, whatever. But we're going to make this quick because I want to get my pizza ate and I want to get these chips going. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and try these that I've had before. These flaming Hot Sweet Carolina Reapers. By the way, I've had ghost peppers, reapers, all that stuff just plain and eating them. Uh, I've done it all. Not at all, but... I can't say I've done it all, but I have done some of the hottest stuff. And uh, I'm not opposed to doing crazy things like that. So, yeah, I've had these before. I like these. These are pretty good. They got good taste. Now, for those of you that don't like any heat, any spice, any nothing at all, like milk is too spicy for you, you might not like these. But for me, they have just enough where they're they're enjoyable. You know? Plus, you got the sweet. You got heat. You got sweet. You got crunch. It's a really good flavor. I really enjoy it. Mm. 
Good stuff. Good stuff. Now I got that all over my hands. Let me wipe it on my shorts. That's what guys do. We just wipe stuff on our shorts. Now, typically when you're eating hot spicy foods, don't drink water. All that does is intensifies the heat. It just reactivates it and gets it all crazy and going all over your mouth and throat and everywhere. Don't drink water. Try to have dairy of some kind. Having said that, I'm not drinking that for the heat. I'm trying to rinse my mouth out so I can have a fresher taste of the other ones. Cleansing the palate, if you will. Okay, flaming Hot Smoky Ghost Pepper Puffs. Ghost Pepper Puffs. Now you can't really see. They're almost shaped kind of like a little pepper. Pretty good. Now, if you've ever had Carolina Reaper peppers and ghost peppers, like the real pepper, they have a very unique taste. There's a slight hint. This is pretty good. These are probably what I'll finish off tonight. Mm. Pretty good, guys. I found them at my local Walmart. Pretty good stuff. They're both basically about the same. These might have a tad bit more heat. A tad. Maybe a tad. A tad. T-A-D. Tad. Mm. But I like the puffiness of them. And I like a regular Cheeto. But I like puffs too. Puffs just kind of have that puffy texture. So, uh, anyway, let's have some pizza, guys. Anyway, that's just kind of how I'm doing my cheat day today. I'm enjoying I still got an ice cream to eat. I get the little little thing of ice cream. I had a beef jerky stick for lunch. I don't really look at that as a cheat anymore. I did, but now it's just I'll kind of eat one if I want one periodically. So. Anyway, yep, so if you haven't tried those chips, give them a try, guys, if you like something with a little kick in it. If you want something with some real kick, 
the world's hottest chip manufacturers. It's like Packy or something like that. I can't remember the name or how to pronounce it. It's I call it Packy. But they not only make the world's hottest chip, but they also make a bag of really hot chips. They're not as hot as the world's hottest chip that they make, but they're hotter than those. What I'm eating now, they're quite a bit hotter than that, but they have a good taste. It's like Dorito-ish kind of shaped, kind of a, a chip like that. And uh, if you want something with a little bit more kick to it than these, than your regular store sh shelf things, uh, look for those. They come in a smaller bag, typically, that I found at the convenience store, Packy. And it's ghost pepper or Carolina Reaper. I don't remember which. Pardon me. <coughs> but uh, they're good. They have a lot of they have a lot of heat to them, but they're good. They're they're good. So they're good. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and sign off here. We don't really have anyone in, but if you watch after the fact, I appreciate it. And whilst you're at it, don't forget. No wait. So like, share, subscribe, comment. Yeah, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the body beatdown. Me and Michael. Me and Michael, ugh. Caveman. And if you would, perhaps, also, don't forget to get up, get out, get rad, and do it to it. And we'll see you next time on the body beatdown. Enjoy your food, guys. Have a good rest of the weekend and try something hot. Push yourself a little bit. Push the limits a little bit, guys. Don't be scared. You only live once. Get up, get out, get rad, and 